says it's time to pass the torch to a younger generation, and that's the best way to unite the country. Speaking from the Oval Office tonight, President Biden spoke about his decision to end his reelection campaign. I revere this office, but I love my country more. It's been the honor of my life to serve as your president. But in the defense of democracy, which is at stake, I think it's more important than any title. Time opponent, former President Donald Trump, continued on his campaign path in Charlotte, North Carolina tonight. He sure did. He blasted Biden and the presumptive new nominee, Vice President Kamala Harris. Atlanta News First political reporter Doug Reardon made the drive up to Charlotte for us this evening. There had been calls for unity after the attempt on Trump's life. But what did you hear tonight? I will say, I think we heard a little bit more of that during his speech at the Republican National Convention last week. I can say we didn't really hear any of that tonight. In fact, Trump even joked about it going into his speech that he was not going to be nice. And so some of the folks that we talked to who were going into that rally outside of the venue said they wanted to hear those calls for unity. They want the Republican Party to come together now that they have a new opponent to beat. They may have been a little disappointed once they got inside. On a sweltering Charlotte Wednesday, supporters of Donald Trump waited outside his rally, eager to hear what he had to say. Yeah, I really want to hear him talk about unity, bringing the country back together. So much division right now. I just really hope that Trump can bring a message of unity among supporters. Brooke Body and Dawson Conway say they had to be at Trump's rally in their hometown, the former president's first since his opponent for the White House, President Joe Biden, dropped out of the race. A lot of supporters, I think, thought that we had it in the bag after the assassination attempt, and I think not having Biden in the picture anymore makes it clear that we really don't have it in the Harris. bag. Harris is a whole different ballgame, I think, and so I do think they do kind of have to adjust what their campaign looks like right now. Inside the rally. Harris was the theme of the day for Trump, but unity was not. I was supposed to be nice. They say something happened to me when I got shot. I became nice. If you don't mind, I'm not going to be nice. Is that OK? Trump blasted his presumed new opponent, Vice President Kamala Harris, a former prosecutor, attorney general and California senator. Lion Kamala Harris has been the ultra liberal driving force behind every single Biden catastrophe. She is a radical left lunatic who will destroy our country. If she ever gets the chance to get into office, we're not going to let that happen. Trump also reminding the crowd Kamala Harris was placed in charge of the White House's handling of the nation's growing border crisis, one he says she made worse in her tenure as VP. And as for Vice President Harris today, she spent time with the historically black Zeta Phi Beta sorority just days after she had raised $84 million in a span of 24 hours. That is a record in American politics. From Charlotte, North Carolina tonight, Doug Reardon, Atlanta News First. And tonight, the redefined race for the White House is too close to call. A newly released poll of Georgia voters revealed the presumed election between former President Donald Trump and Vice President Kamala Harris is virtually a toss-up. The former president still has a 1% lead, but that falls within the poll's 5% margin of error. Georgia State.